Why is it telling me Grant Lockwood out there? These PPN8s might as well be water pistols for all the good they do. Gonna have to keep a watch on Igwe. He stirred up some of the organisms getting here. Might do it again. We did a check of all Igwe's equipment. All genuine, no organic matter. He's clean. And yet you... suspect him. Heard Dr. Igwe was floating in a cargo crate outside the ship. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. Dr. Yu? Chief Elazar will want to talk to you. Dr. Yu, were you up in crew quarters? I was. Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find yes. her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Dr. Yu, that was out of line. Forgive me. Actually... Crew quarters, I kept a lot of people alive. Nicole, so she didn't make it. Ah, uh, she I, was one that died. You didn't have to do this, but I... Thank you, sir. And Morgan, I owe you an apology. Once you vanished into the sim lab... Sarah asked me to try and learn what I could from the psychotronic staff discreetly. I took too long, but I learned you were in the lab without your consent. I didn't even consider that possibility. When we heard, Sarah was quick to begin action against your brother, but then, well, things fell apart. I should have worked harder, dug deeper, especially after all you've risked for us. I'm sorry. Side quest done. Nice. We never breathed fresh air together. Or stood in the grass together. I don't know if I want to go back to Earth now. That's a bit sad. Captain Marks officiated our ceremony. You were there. But I don't think you remember. Nope. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway... Chief Elisar's waiting on you. No movement. Room secure. No movement? There's a phantom in there. Unless you're not talking about that room. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. Officer Hayashi, Dr. Yu. Nothing will get past me. I'm ready, Dr. Yu. Well, it was fortunate you came along when you did. Exterior door welded. Michaela Ilyushin to Gus McGill. Mr. McGill. As a safety precaution, we have disabled critical machinery required to open the exterior door in Cargo Bay B. And as added insur insurance, the door has been welded shut. If that bay is for storage only, then we want to be, be certain there can be no accidental opening. Restoring the bay door to full function will be practically impossible. Thank you. Unresolved Guts. Anders Klein to Gus McGill. First from Gus McGill to Anders. Hi Anders, got your message about the shipment failure. I dispatched an engineer operator to check out and 
check it out, and something weird happened. Telemetry shows it ran into some sort of electro energetic lattice work. The readings were li- unlike anything I've seen. Side effect from Psychotronics Project? In any case, the operator was able to move through it and navigate, but shortly after it became unresponsive. I'm going to have to get human eyes on it, but all our people are tied up with a critical fuel transfer. When that's done, I'll send someone to check it out. Thanks. Yo, find anything? Catastrophic accident report. That doesn't sound too good. Gerald Wildman to Gus McGill. There was a blast in Cargo Bay A. Exterior doors ruptured. All the bulkhead doors automatically sealed. But several of my people are missing. Dr. Igwe for the from Psychotronics was in there. And he's gone as well. Ekaterina, Ekaterina said... She saw a floating orb drift over to the chlorine trifluid container and detonate, possibly some kind of static discharge. But all the dampeners were activated. Secondary blasts were off, went off not long ago in fuel storage, but I have that sealed tight and no one was in there. Something is going on. Nobody is calling me back. Let me know as soon as you get at this. I'm going to take the rest of my people over to life support as a precaution. Utilities. Car, cage 1 controls. Cage temporarily, temporary storage. Please notify Gerald Wildman of any changes in inventory. I can open or close it. Same as cage 2. That's cargo bay B. Is that these? Oh, I can get through there. Two phantoms in there. I didn't realize I could go in that door. Do I want to open those cages? Probably not. God, watching those things move makes me sick. Oh, and a weaver. What is it doing? Oh my God, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, Damn it. Corpse, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She There's got us a this lot far. of them here. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. There we go. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. Don't tell her I said that. I can't even respect our dead. Some of the officers reported seeing glowing structures. Called it coral. The creatures are making it. But why? That thing. It was like it was sewing Enoch. Hourly drink reminder. Silhouette. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Goddamn waiting is driving me crazy. They're better than being dead. Definitely is better than being dead. Thank you. It's Al. No burns? No, you pulled me out just in time, Al. Well, 
You live dangerously, playing with fire like that. I'll try and let you know before I do it again. Please do. It's only polite. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. My voice... My voice was buried inside me. Why could I not hear this person at all? I wanted to scream, but I couldn't even do that. I, I felt like I was drowning in myself. I heard that some of the other security officers, Deeg, Lemma, they didn't make it. Where they came from? I've been watching them for hours, and I still don't know how many of them are out there. Don't know if Wiggy, or uh, Dr. Igwe, is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. Hope the EATs from the Arboretum were useful. On full auto, they should tear those creatures to pieces. Although I'm glad the EAT rounds were designed not to penetrate the hull. I was up in the Arboretum because... Well, Sarah asked me to keep an eye on your brother and his visitors. Let her know if I noticed anyone or anything. Odd. Talk about an understatement. We were almost set to arrest your brother when... the attack happened. Arrest him? Are you doing all right? <clears throat> you keeping the fort? The what? I don't understand. It's just a saying. It, it means, uh, are you doing okay? Oh, I am, Officer Rose. Al, thank you. Good to hear it. How did this all happen? Food supplies. I've gathered, gathered all the supplies I could find, and it looks like we have enough food to hold out for several days as long as we are rot rationing. Here is an itinerary. We have all the water we need as long as the fountain keeps working. I'm taking all your food. Where did those things come from? Morgan? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? No. I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Hey, Spud. At the time I read the note, I had already picked up maybe two-thirds of what was there. There was quite a if pile on the I table. I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but I could have done more. If only I had reached the power... To be completed within six hours of incident... Details of incident. The incident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast was where walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained. But we lost some crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filing this, uh, filling this out. Except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. Damaged equipment, damaged extent. Injured persons, injury tired. Only that details and location were filled in. Why in time? Two new emails here. Hazmat transfer today. There must be some way out of this. From Gus McGill to a few different people. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier this with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and waits, awaits you in cargo bay A. 
I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols be. at the start of their shift today. As you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort this cargo, these cont contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifor trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you all the rest of the shift off. You're welcome. Gerald Wilder, Wildman. It go boom. Yeah. If it's mishandled, yep. Sylvain Bellamy to Gerald Wildman. Dr. Deo Igwe's assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid in interacting with cargo bay personnel. There are some incoming materials like I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me, so if you have any issues, please contact my office. Thank you. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe, your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. I'm saving it, but, well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Cool, thank you. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Oh, I'm actually full. Now, is there a recycler I can actually use at the moment? That one's out of order. It's got no power to it. Or, I can just break down a couple things. How many neuromods do I have? Five. Don't need that. 
Don't use those two. Need one, one more to mod more weapons or to improve more weapons for what I want. Three more for repair three. I would like that as well, but I need one more. That one I also need there. That one might be good. Oh. Increase health even more. Both of those sound good. I think I'll go that one. I've had a bit of a rough day. Thank you. A patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Can't open it, unfortunately. I wanted to go in there and fight. Just look and see if that had numbers. I can open Cage 1 and Cage 2. I don't know what Cage 1 and Cage 2 are. So this is a recycler and it's currently powered, powered down. So, that makes me think I will need to go in there and clear it out. So, what is this glance? Grant Lockwood one. This one. Locate Grant Lockwood. Talos exterior. Okay, I'm gonna unselect everything else and I'll go do that one quickly.
gravity detected. Or can I? Doesn't look like I can leave. Oh no. There we go. do I not have any marker for Grant Lockwood now? I have no idea where Gla Grant Lockwood is. There should be a way for me to find it. Later on. Once I find a computer for locating people, it should be able to direct me to him if I can find his name. That's not what I wanted. 